Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about extension cord, the maintenance of them, and the storage of them. For quite some time I've been using this type of storage system with the French cleat and it's worked quite well. But I want to be able to make some improvements today based on my day-to-day -day use over the last several years. So let's get started. To begin with, I'm going to lay this out for 17 and a half inches. That has worked out real well for the cord holders that I've had so far. Excuse me, four inches wide also works well. To put in my French cleat, what I'm going to do is put this in the center of my cord holder. My overall length is 17 and a half inches, so half of that is going to be eight and three quarters. Now all I need to really do is move and have an opening of about six inches. So I'm just going to move over three inches and then one, two, three inches, and that will be the point that I'm going to do. And then from here, I'm just going to go ahead and use my 45 degree on my T-square and mark that. Because I do want to be able to hang it either direction. And then that needs to be three quarters of an inch. Okay, to put in the two slots to be able to hold the cord, what I'm going to do is just measure down three inches from each end. There and here. Holding that off one inch. And then I'm going to just Put that in. There's my depth that's going to be. Then I'm going to set my tri square for one inch. And I'll mark that. Okay, I'll set that for three inches. I'll mark that right here. Okay, so that's the basic layout. The other thing I want to do is add a handle in here. To add the handle on the opposite side, I'm going to start the same way, using this as my center line. And I'm going to come back over the same three inches here and there. And I want to have an opening of about one inch my hand will fit through that just fine. So I'll go ahead and set this at five inches. And I'll put that right through here. So that will be the, where the opening is. I'll add another inch to be able to create the handle. And I'm just going to use a washer to make my round over here. And I'm going to do the same thing on the outside edge. To be able to create this opening, this slot is one inch. So I'm going to come over an inch and a half, and I'm going to mark that on each side and then I'm going to make it where my Forstner bit can drill a hole here and here. Okay, so far this portion is exactly the way my old ones were because it works so well. The only new part so far is the handle. The other thing that I want to be able to do, if you look at this one, you notice that I've got both ends of the cord here. Basically what I'm doing is wrapping the cord with starting in the middle and wrapping it around so that I end up with this. So a 50 foot cord, I'm only really wrapping this 25 feet. It goes a lot quicker. I've got a 150 foot or 100 foot cord 
up on the rack. And if I do it just as an individual one row at a time, it seems like it takes forever. By folding it in half, starting in the middle, I'm able to be able to do that much, much quicker. So what I'm going to do is put a point in here to be able to capture the center of the cord to be able to hook on there and then be able to wrap the cord. So to be able to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and mark down about two inches. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this. Change this setting so it's in the center. So two inches is the center of this. And what I want to be able to do is have a hook on here And this is going to be two inches. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is cut out this portion here. I'm going to leave this sticking up and what will happen, I'll be able to stick the cord in and hook it and be able to roll it. Okay, we're ready now to be able to take this over to the bandsaw and cut it out. I took the plywood over to the bandsaw and with the complete layout drawn in, it was very easy to be able to cut this out. And it only took just about, about five minutes to be able to cut. Not bad at all. Even cutting the radius around for the handle wasn't bad. I cut on the outside of the line just a little bit so that when I took it over to the sander, I could sand to the line. I used a one inch Forstner bit to be able to cut this out as I had discussed earlier. And I cut halfway through on one side, flipped it over, cut the remainder out so that it wouldn't cause any splitting of the plywood. Then I moved over to using a quarter inch. Then it was on to the scroll saw to cut out the inside of the handle. Then I moved over to the last section to be able to cut out the notch that would actually hold the cord and I cut this out with the scroll saw as well. Now it's time to hit the sander and get all the edges nice and smooth. Then off to the oscillating sander to be able to sand all the rounded edges. Last stop was at the router table where I rounded over all the edges, hit it with a little bit of sandpaper at the end, and it was done. You notice too some burning. The bit uh, that I was using, the bearing did freeze. Okay, the improvements that I've made on this is I went ahead and added the handle. It's going to make it a lot easier to be able to carry it. And I added this hook for the wire to be able to fasten onto, which eliminated this hook that didn't really work at all to be able to keep the end of the cord attached. The other thing that I've done to make it easier, right in the middle of the cord, I went ahead and put a black marker on it so I know exactly where the center is. And to be able to do this, you're just going to slip it in, hook it like that, and then we're going to be able to wind it. And I'm going to try to stay in the camera frame to be able to do this. But this just wraps right up. Now remember, this is a 50-foot cord, but because it's folded in half, I'm really just doing 25 feet.
Now you notice I'm not winding like this because what that does is it twists the wires inside and I don't want the wires twisted because that shortens the life of the uh, extension cord. So by doing it this way, it keeps those wires straight. Once I get to the end, I just tuck it inside of here, pull it tight, and I'm ready to store the cord. The other nice thing about having both ends here is that I don't need to unroll the entire cord. All I need to be able to do is unroll the portion that I need to be able to plug it in and go ahead and use it and leave the rest of it rolled up. So back together again, that slips in, pull it snug, and I'm done. Then I can go ahead and just hang it up on my French cleat, and that completes it. I think that's going to be a nice addition. I like having a handle on it. It's a lot easier than trying to grab this and then hang on by the cord this way. That's much easier. And I actually like the hook in the center. Makes it much nicer to be able to have the ends of the cord out. Hi everyone. Thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.